you for watching Global Report News. This is Joy Menzies. Not long after WikiLeaks began publishing leaked diplomatic cables in November 2010, the anti-secrecy organisation ran into trouble raising money. Increased government scrutiny and criticism from lawmakers prompted several companies, including Mastercard, Visa and PayPal, to stop processing donations to the non-profit organisation. Due to the bank blockade, WikiLeaks eventually suspended publication. On Sunday, a group of journalists and press freedom activists launched the Freedom of the Press Foundation as a way to crowdsource funding for WikiLeaks and independent journalistic organisations that expose government corruption and advocate for transparency. Since WikiLeaks became a front-page news story, secrecy has gotten worse in the US, said Trevor Tim, co-founder for the Freedom of Press Foundation. The foundation plans to direct tax-deductible donations to WikiLeaks for as long as payment processes block the organisation, whilst at the same time protecting other outlets if they are similarly targeted. Tim said, WikiLeaks was the inspiration for it, but we wanted to make the mission much broader. For that reason, the group is also raising money for three other entities, Muckrock News, an open government organisation, National Security Archive, an archive of declassified government documents, and The Uptake, a citizen journalism news site. The Freedom of the Press Foundation Board includes writers and advocates for press freedom and transparency, including Guardian columnist Glenn Greenwald, actor and activist John Cusack, and documentary filmmaker Laura Potras. Tim said that all the money donated for WikiLeaks will go towards journalism and not legal defence.